It's yeah. the idea. Hey, forget about that. You're eating your yogurt That's this stupid morning. Idea. You're eating your yogurt. The world is going to hell in a handbag again here. Look at our allies. Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Egypt. What is this moron doing in Washington? He's now siding with Iran. In about less than five years from now, Iran will have nuclear weapons. There will be mushroom clouds in the Middle East. Where is this man's sensibility? What has happened now is we have deteriorated all our allies throughout the Middle East. People don't know. They don't want to be a friend anymore. You, are you a friend with the United States? Next thing they turn on. That thing with Netanyahu when he came to the United States Congress? Let me tell you something. He was telling the truth. Where are we going? We're now siding with Iran. Iran wants to take over the whole croissant, the croissant of the Middle East. They want to bring in their Shiite psychopaths over there. The poor Saudi Arabians, our ally, now they said, well, if you got the atomic bomb, we get the atomic bomb. Egypt, we get the atomic bomb. Everybody's going to have atomic bombs. Now all of a sudden, Iran is the good guys in Iraq. They've taken over Iraq. They've taken over Syria with Assad as just a puppet for them. And now that's what's going on. And then our Secretary of State, former, this chipmunk-looking woman here, now has the audacity. Oh, what? The one that looks like a chipmunk. What are you the talking thief. about? The one that whacked Foster. Huh. Hillary Clinton. You know, murder has no statute of limitation, Hillary. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Hillary Clinton now has an 80% approval rate. That just shows how screwed up this country. We got one guy, the first black president. Oh, yeah, he's the coolest guy, the dumbest one, never had a company. Now we got, oh, we want to have the first woman president. What is this, a popularity contest? Woman, black guy. No, how about getting a guy with a, or a woman with a brain in, in the White House instead of popularity? This is where our country's going. Oh, he's cool. Let's make him. Oh, she's cool. You don't know what I'm saying? Saying? What I'm saying no, I know is, what you're saying. What I'm saying is, where is America? Where is that president? Whether it be a Democrat or a Republican. In the Northern Hemisphere. Where oh, is I this president saying. that's going to lead us out of this abyss of what we're in oh. right now? <laughs> say it, folks. We're, we're say siding it right with now. Iran to beat Iran, ISIS. Yeah, yeah, but excuse me. We're fighting with Iran to beat ISIS. Just maybe Iran will turn out you to know, be I as thought bad of ISIS, as ISIS last night when they whacked off John the Baptist. Remember they <laughs> beheaded him? <laughs> don't, you, don't you get what's going on here? Iran is sitting back. They're the catapult. Don't I get it? We get have, it? Because they didn't have a democracy in Egypt, they no. didn't have a democracy all, all in the Middle East, we went over there and our president says, well, they don't have a democracy. How about all these liberals, all these liberals, go over to Iran, ladies, lesbianics, or homo sapiens, what? go to Iran and see what they do to you over there. They cut your head off. So if you want to vote for Hillary and you want to support Iran, then you can't be a homosexual, you can't be a lesbianic, you can't be anything. There's no freedom there. Don't you get it? There's no democracy in Iran. They have an election. They paint their finger blue or purple, and everybody votes for the same person. That's like an election in Russia with Putin. Think about it. There's no election. There's no democracy. I'm thinking The only democracy there is Israel. Israel's a democracy. Okay. Egypt, we had that other guy there. What was the name that got dumped out of there? Put Truman in jail. What was Morsi. his name? Morsi. Morsi. Mubarak. Morsi. Pussy. Was right, no, whatever no. his name was, right? <laughs> they threw him out, and then all of a sudden, the Muslim Brotherhood came oh, in there and took everything. Mubarak. Then we go, Mubarak. Oops, we had the wrong guy, we had to take him out. These were leaders that controlled, they should bring back Saddam Hussein. He controlled that psychopath area, That's he controlled Iran. All he wanted to do was listen to Frank Sinatra music and look at porno. Why did we leave him in there? Why did we leave him? Right. We should have left him in there. Well, I think he was. A little what? More aggressive. My oh, old friend the, Saddam. The weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> no, but, I didn't say but that. It's okay for the Alatali Khamenei over in Iran <laughs> to have nuclear bombs. It's what up is to the difference? You. I didn't say, say that. I dead. just think about what I'm saying on a common sense. Okay. What is the difference of having the Ayatollah psychopath having a nuclear bomb or Saddam Hussein? One, it's vanilla ice cream. The other one's chocolate ice cream. But They're the all ice was... cream. I like Fox ice cream. said it was blue. Well, that was the cake. <laughs> the cake. But just think about it. Now we're going to let the <laughs> Ayatollah have an atomic bomb. Oh, that's a better thing.
Don't you, you know it? what the problem is? <laughs> They're more psycho than the other psychos. And this president <laughs> has given up on all our allies. All our allies are out there. The poor Saudi Arabians eat the hummus and the lamb, lamb guts. Almost, I, I lamb went there guts. two dozen times. I used to eat that stuff with my hands, right? Oh, God, get out of here. <laughs> Stop it.